Hey guys, it's Cody and Erica and Clance here at the Bar 7 Ranch. Kylie's gone to... She's Christmas going? shopping. She's she Black can't Friday sit at home shopping. for more than about three minutes, y'all, so she's got to be going somewhere. But we got a new addition to our Christmas decor. Is that what you want to call yeah. it? Yeah, we're, we're starting a new tradition. So... When I was a kid, my grandmother, every year for Christmas, made all of the grandkids cross-stitch Christmas ornaments. Like this one's from 1983, I was three years old then. But um, we got a Christmas ornament every year, or maybe two for my grandmother. Um, but Erica, they don't match her fancy Christmas tree First of all, I haven't had these until we got these a few years ago. We haven't even had, it. we not even went through that stuff until like last year. We went through this stuff last year. I'm pretty sure Graham gave us these before she died. She never she gave died. us these. Oh. Yeah. She did give them to us before she died, but it's all been up in the shop and we never cleaned she out. She died four years ago. I'm just saying we never cleaned out all her stuff. We never went through the stuff. Anyway, Cody didn't ever want to go through the stuff because he didn't think we needed any of it. He thought we needed to throw away everything. So anyways, guys, so Erica got a new, what do you call this, a pencil tree? Yeah, I decided we should get a little pencil tree. It's over here by her piano that she does not know how to play but she played like chopsticks on it twice i took lessons and when i was a kid and i hey bub don't do that buddy what you walked at four months old okay anyways our battery six. cut off so full sentences where did we cut off six you so erica got her a, a new pencil tree here and we're gonna make this my we call my grandmother nano n-a-n-o nano don't ask me why. I'm not the oldest grandchild, so I don't know why that's her name. But um, This is going to be our nano tree. This is going to be our nano tree. It's going to have all the Christmas ornaments from my childhood that gets put on there. So. And we're super excited that I found this tree at Walmart today, y'all. Kylie found it at Walmart. It was like the only one there, and it was the display, and it's it was exactly what I wanted. Right. Yeah, it was perfectly oh, we exactly were, what I we wanted. We were talking trash about your piano. That's a... Stop it, talking trash about my piano. It takes up space, yet you don't know how to play it and have no one yes, I do. to play I'll it. I'll show you. But it has sentimental value. Guys, I told her we should take a picture of it and we just hang it on the wall above where it's sitting currently. And I told him I would take a picture of him and hang, him, hang his picture on the wall. Okay. Well, let's get on with the... She actually said she's going to hang it above my casket. <laughs> she's going to be honest and tell the truth. No, I said I would hang it on the wall here and put you in your casket. Oh, okay. I'll show y'all the Christmas That's decor we did today. We didn't we didn't vlog while we um, put up all our Christmas decor, but see Bob. We're still new to this. We don't always you know. get the camera going. When we're supposed. See Bob to. and I put up all the Christmas decor, right? Right. You were the master fluffer today. Yep. He did not like fluffing. I don't blame you. <laughs> all Dad, right, so here we go. Old. Okay. One year old. Nineteen eighty one. Yep. This one can go up here. Why don't we set the camera down? And you can hand them to mom and she can place them because as we all know mom has certain areas she wants things and she really i'm going to show my favorite this one's my favorite is the little mittens from 1982 show my favorite. and this one y'all i had to show y'all this one cody had this little um stick horse and i've never seen that until this year when we pulled it out and the kids have stick horses and they're not made like that, like we bought them, but still, it's their little stick horse ornaments. And I thought, how neat is that, that we got the kids' stick horse ornaments? It's supposed to be facing down. I don't know. Did Nano make that? Mm -hmm. Who made that? I think Dad made that. That looks like an AK oh. creation. Somebody broke the little guy off my little thing Here over there. Up. Here, bub. 1984. That was a good year. How do you know? I don't know. Here you go, Mom. You want me to put them on? Yes, okay. So you don't look like that, but I didn't fall to the tree. Fun fact, you guys. This was at Nano's house, wasn't it? This was from Nano. Yep. Yeah. This was the one on Nano's the front house. porch is not from Nano's, right. is it? Right. This was Nano's. This is a cool little stool. You probably can't see it here, but it's got a step that comes out. I haven't finished refinishing it, but. I don't think we have the top of it anymore that you I think it's finished. in the shop, but I don't, I'm not positive. 1990. 1990, 10 oh, years Dad, old. I think this thing can stand up. Yeah. This was our hair cutting school for a while, but we stopped using it. Because y'all won't cut my hair anymore. I won't let y'all. Why don't I hand you these and you, you let the people see them there? This one's for green. 
What is this one? 86. 1986. You have two of these, huh? Is that what the, didn't I hang one up with this? Yeah, there's one up high. What was this one? 84. 84, and then we did a repeat in 86, but different colors. Great. From Grand? Four Grand. From Grand. Really? Yeah. What year? Two Susan. From Mom, 1996. Do you got some hanger meals? Because we don't have enough hangers. Get some twine. You want to do that? Dad, you were 11 in this one. Yeah. Are you going to put all of these even if we don't know what they are on there? No. If you don't want, if they're not special land, we don't have to. 12. I don't know. I don't think it doesn't matter. She made two of you were eight. This is 1991. I like this one. Yeah. 1991. Oh, we also cool. do I have do we have my oh, cross stitch picture that Nana made for me? Is it hanging up in Bub's room? Which yes. the big one? Yes. Don't go don't get it off the wall. It's not on the wall, I think. Is it? I should uh, see Don't pull it down. We can take the camera in there. I don't remember. Oh yeah. So one thing my grandmother also did for all of us. Which one? I think, I, agree. I think it's the big one with the bell of hay and the saddle on it and the mm -hmm. She uh, 1988. She made a big cross stitch picture for us. Um, we didn't get those every year. We, each grandchild got, you know, we we only got one of the big ones, and she would make it. And, you know, when it was your turn, you kind of got to pick what you wanted. So we'll take you in there and show you that one that she made for me when I was a kid. I think I was actually like maybe in high school or maybe even into college when I got mine. I can't remember. This is 1999. This is your freshman year of college. Freshman year of college. This is one on. This is on a plastic canvas. Yep. Party like it's 1999. Made especially for Cody. 1999. So what about? So were these Paul? Paul made those. Yeah. So my, my grandfather was born in 1914. He died in 2007. So he was, what, 93 years old when he passed, when he died. And in the latter part of his life, when he got to where he couldn't get around as much and do as much stuff, he started to, I don't know what crochet. you call it. I think crochet. Plastic canvas. Plastic canvas. So he made all kinds of stuff. Um, Little wag covered wagons, these little star Christmas tree ornaments, things like that. Um, a lot and gave them to people in town. We still have those. Those what? We have plastic wagon. We have wagons out there. In the shop. Mm-hmm. So. But they're pretty. He made a cross from. There were lots of people that that got them that he gave them to people that he you know just that he liked and stuff. Of course, all the grandkids, the and his talking? kids got them all. So. Stop talking when Dad's talking. What are some? What are some special family heirloom kind of things in y'all's life? Drop them down there in the comments and let us know. That's kind of cool to know. Different families have different different things, you know, that, that mean have sentimental value to them. So. We'll just put them on there, and then we'll find a topper. We'll, we'll well, this would be a cool topper. Be easy. That would probably come apart. This one, 1993, Cody. 93. It says... Made especially for Cody by Nano, Christmas 1993. There you go. Here's another one. This is 1983. When was that one? 93. So. So 10 years. 10 year gap. What's on that one? Snowman with a, oh, it's a C. Snowman with a C. C. Yeah. This is a Santa Claus. Santa Claus in 1983. No writing on the back of this one though. This one just says Nano 1992. It's also a Santa Claus, says Cody. So we had a, that, that, I would venture to say all of us grandkids, that was the most important thing we couldn't wait for on Christmas was to see what ornament my grandmother had made for us. So at my grandparents' house, they, they lived in town and uh, she, they had a big dining room table in their dining room kitchen. It was, the kitchen dining room is all one room. And she would sit there by that window and sew this stuff starting about the middle of the summer. Um, 
she would always kind of not really hide it, but you didn't get to see what you were getting. You might get to see what one of the cousins was getting, what somebody else was getting, but you never really got to see yours. She'd try to keep it hid from us. And she had this little wooden rack that she set up when Christmas time rolled around and it held all these little stockings on it. And, and they were the little old cheapo stockings, the ones like you got from, we didn't have dollar stores back then that I really remember, but just a little red with the white on them, you know, and then like I think they had on like either like hand painted our names on them or something. But you never got it. They all hung on there. And, and she'd have, like, there'd be an orange or an apple in there. And she always made her her favorite little dish to make us candy kind of deal was uh, peanut butter Rice Krispie Treats. Not the kind with marshmallows, but the kind with peanut butter. And she would, she would ha have us all a little package of those in there and some fruit and you know maybe some candy canes or something like that so after everybody got their presents and everything we'd get to take their stockings down and get that little stuff out of there and um one of my fondest memories is you know you but you knew you were no longer considered one of the kids especially if you were a boy the year you got blue jeans the first year you got blue jeans is your christmas present from nano and paul that's when you knew you were no longer kid anymore you didn't get a cool present you got usable presents so uh, I think that happened for me about 14 <laughs> when I got no, my first no pair of blue again. jeans yeah no longer considered a kid so do you want to put these Paul maybe a few of them I wouldn't no? overload it with them or maybe just one up at the very top well that's what love one is it do you don't like that idea maybe no, nope, can't do it. You just do it however you see fit, Mom. It we'll suits see. me just fine. The rest of these, I'm not real sure what they are. Yeah. So I guess we don't, we don't put them I wouldn't put them on there. They don't look like anything she made. This did, we, one was home. did we bring that one over from our tree, Bob? Which one? There was one over there sitting on the couch that was a nano ornament. Did we bring it over here? Yes. Does it need a hanger? And I wanted to put this on my face. Huh? No, it already has one. Okay. What year is it? Uh, 2002. You said we could put this on. Yeah, right. That, that's okay with it. Yeah. What is that? Something y'all made at church one year? Mm -hmm. I can't really remember what year my, my, my grandmother passed. Um, it was before Eric and I started dating. Before 2005. Before Not 2000. very long before. It was after you graduated, though. College. So it had to been. It was at, Yeah, I graduated in 02. We started dating in 05. And in March. And it was before that when she passed. So my granddad, when he passed, Clancy hadn't been born yet. That's That's one of my... I don't guess you could call it a regret because you, you know it's not something that I didn't get to do, but I hate that my granddad didn't get to meet Clancy. I think they would have been great friends. Uh, my granddad was a guy that he was moved around all the time, and what I mean by that is he couldn't sit still. He was always doing something. He would, you know, he'd take a nap every day once he got up there, you know, in his 80s and 90s, but. He was every morning. He was he'd get up and go to the cafe, and you know he'd get up and eat breakfast. My grandmother would cook him, then he'd go to the cafe and drink coffee, and then they'd go, him and my grandmother had a big garden at uh, my uncle's house. They'd go over there and work their garden in the summer, and spring and summer, and you know, he was, he'd was he always go make the rounds on Saturdays, go visit all of his kids. He had four children. Uh, <clears throat> the two oldest were boys and the two youngest were girls, so he, my mom was the youngest of all of them. He would make the rounds and go visit everybody on Saturday morning. Um, and you know, he was, he was a great grandpa because to me, you know, we, we spent a lot of time together. He'd take us fishing, he'd take us, you know, any kind of thing we wanted to do, Paul would take us to do it. And like I told him one time I wanted some squirrels for a pet, so he built me this cage out of chicken wire. And we went down to my aunt and uncle's place. They had a place down the river and we 
knocked some squirrels out of a tree and caught these little baby squirrels. You know, we had to go cut this long cedar pole first so we could reach up in there in the top of this tree and knock this nest down. And I got four squirrels out of it and I raised them there and he brought me corn every, every week to feed them. And it was pretty neat. I mean, when, then when they got big enough that they were could survive on their own, we took them back and turned them loose. And we just had a lot of fun. He was a good guy. I miss him. He loved Kylie. He did love Kylie. He loved all of his grandkids. Yeah. I mean, he made us all feel special. Well, my grandmother, when she, they called in hospice for her, they brought, had her, she, she passed at home. And uh, I remember going by there to visit with her. And she took us, I assume, I like to think I'm the only one, but I think we all got it because my brother said the same thing that, you know, she, she took us back in her little bedroom there and gave us a hug and whispered in each one of us's ear that we were the, we were, you know, I, now you, you know, you're always my favorite and, uh, made us, made us feel special. Like, you know, you could always count on Nano to have some, she, something to eat and something sweet to have. And she, uh, she had this old crooked finger and she'd scratch your back with it. And I loved to have my hair combed. So I would lay down and put my head in her lap even up until I was 17 or 18 years old. And she'd comb my hair and make me fall asleep. And, and it, she spoiled you. Yeah, she we were spoiled. So. so now we have to do it. We have to do the same thing for you. We almost always, she almost always had beans and cornbread. Um, you know, they grew up very poor, and they, uh, so they ate beans and cornbread about at least two or three times a week. She'd have a pot of just pinto beans and plain cornbread going, so you could almost always expect to find that at Nano's house. Well, we got it decorated. All right. Let's give them, give a, them a, give them a close-up. Close yeah. All right, yeah. so here's a close-up of the tree. We've got... A Paul star on top. Maybe next year we'll put them like all in order from top to bottom. Do you have my stocking from What's when I was a kid? No. I don't guess so. I don't remember having it. Uh oh, this one's turned around. The little dino. Yeah. That one's so cute. I'll have to fix that it's one. in a big Ziploc bag. I don't remember it. I gotta fix this one. Gotta fix this one. Yeah, that's baby's first Christmas. Look how cute I was at one year old. Adorable. All right, so let me show you the rest of the house. We gotta move this Grinch out of the way. Don't call me that. Oh, sorry. I wasn't talking about him. I was actually talking about this one. So we put a little few decorations on the piano. A few decorations over here. I found this cute paint. This cute little thing at Walmart. Is that not adorable? I always put. Jesus and Joseph and Mary and the little and barn that, the little barn that Seabob made. He made that when he was a clover kid. Was it? I can't yeah, remember I what it was for. I think that was a clover kid entry project. But it's a little barn. Fire. You see it has stalls in it. It's supposed to look like our barn. It's a replica of our barn. Yep. yep. And then... You can see it from this end. That's from Erica, our yeah. neighbor that my lived neighbor here for a little while, there. made that for us. Yep. All right. Take us to the tree. My house is a wreck because we'll go by the mantle. Okay, we'll go by the mantle first. These are the stockings. Show them your stockings, babe. Yeah, these are the stockings that I made for the for all of us. We all have different little conchos on there. Yeah, so this would be Clancy's. I think mine and Clancy's have the same one. Yeah, I think y'all are the only one conchos. that have the same one. Erica has crosses on hers, and, and then Kylie, Kylie has, has a little cowgirl, cowgirl on hers. Yeah. And then we've got a Noel up there on the mantle. Had to take a few things down for Christmas time. And then we've got a little nativity that, who do you think painted this? I think, I think that's Mimi? Probably from AK, yeah. So that looks like one of her. Cody's aunt probably painted this. We aren't sure where it came from, but we always put it out. Cody made this for the county, for fair, the county one fair one year. It's like a little. It's puff painted, or it's got like some puff paint on it, or it's just regular paint, I guess, huh? Yeah, I think you did some squeeze deals, yeah. You just like sewed it together and then painted it. We always put that out. And then here's the tree. 
We don't have anything special on it. It's kind of just more themed. But yeah, we, do, get our, we uh, do have a G on there for Gran and a little cardinal ornament. And we, we don't have these going on it, though, throughout the... Oh, yeah, our ear tags. I've got my R's out over here, but you can show those. So, oh. where are they? Oh. Right there. So, a few years ago for Advent, we uh, I had a set of ear tags made that had, were numbered 1 through 25 for us to do as a, a way to celebrate Advent. Um, they just have a. Ours look like this. Yeah. They just say Bar 7 Ranch, Merry Christmas, and then, and then the number, number 1 through 20. Or one through twenty-five, but um, some people saw us putting them on our Christmas tree last year and asked about them. So this year we had some ear tags made. They come in this fancy. I gotta get a bag like this. Fancy bag. They come with their own twine hangers, and then they're all numbered for the day of the, the the month that you need to do it. And they also have these have the scripture verses that you need to read for Advent or the recommended scripture. The recommended one. Um, we our our original ones don't have that, but these do. And then, uh, they, of course, they say Merry Christmas. And then on the back, they say, keep praying in Bar 7 Ranch. So um, We just have a bookmark. Um, we have a bookmark that we go by for our Advent tags. But we just thought we'd put them on the tag for those so that it would be Makes it easy so you easy. don't have to try to keep up with it. So every night, we'll read one of those. We'll read the scripture that goes with it. And then find a spot on the tree to hang it. And then, you know, by the time the Christmas gets here, it's full of, you've got 25 extra ornaments on there. So. Yep. It works good for us, and uh, we're going to be, if you don't follow us on Instagram or TikTok, you might want to go over there and follow us because we're going to do that nightly starting on the 1st of December through the 24th. There's no reading on the 25th. Um, just if you want to follow along with us and do Advent with us that way, you can follow along. So that's our Christmas decor, I guess. I'm sure you got some out on the porch. Did y'all get that far yet? Yeah, we don't have much out there. I still have half. It's half Christmas and half um, fall out there fall. right now. But we're having Thanksgiving here on Sunday, um, so we're going to have Thanksgiving with Christmas decor up, but I had uh, to do it. We had to be ready so we could start doing Advent. And yeah. Because we may have to do a couple of those. We might have to pre-film them, I guess is what we're trying to say, because yeah. we'll be gone for basketball games and stuff like that. So. Yeah, on the very, well, no, well, not, I discovered on the first one we don't have a basketball game, but sometimes we will, so. I guess that's Thanks, our guys. Christmas traditions. So yeah, some of them getting them started. So thank y'all for watching. Tell us what kind of Christmas traditions you have down below, and y'all keep ranching. Keep ranching. Okay, before we go, we almost forgot. Yeah, this plants is your room even clean. It's not actually, bad. Yes. He it's actually had to clean it while ago a little yeah. bit. So except for this mess up here. Oh, so it wasn't that old. So here's the here's the one that Nano made for me. It's got a pair of boots on the, and a saddle on a bell of hay with a Brandon iron and a hat, rope, and it says down here. Does it here, say 94 or 84? Nano 1994. So, no, I didn't get it at 80. Yeah. So, um, I think she kind of went in order of how old we were. So, I think probably Will and Carrie got theirs first, and then me, and then maybe my older brother. But I'm not sure my brother didn't get his before me, but I'm not sure. Oh, I'm my not positive. goodness. But, uh, so yeah, that's what, there it is. Here's a picture things? of your mom. Is that your? Yep, that's correct. Yes, when she was a. When she was a young girl. Yeah, probably right out of high school or in high yep. school. Did you make that one over there? What? No, I don't know where that came. from. That looks like I don't know where that came from. It might have came from Manos, but I didn't make that. Hmm. Nope. All right. All right. See y'all later.